Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Just gonna pull today's energy um, as per usual and see what the heck comes up. First car is snake. Man. Ship. Tower. So right off the bat, I feel like Divine Masculine has um, either betrayed someone or has been betrayed and now he's leaving. Whoever this involves, whoever was in the relationship with Divine Masculine, both parties are now suffering and trying to figure out um, what's their next step. Six of Cups, Five of Pentacles. I feel like this, um, I feel like Divine Masculine's leaving to return to the past. I feel like he's going back to the way that he used to be. Queen of Swords in Reverse. To a pentacle, feminine energy in his life no longer gets to have anything to say. So I feel like whoever this feminine energy is has betrayed him, and um, no long he no longer is listening to anything that he has to say. Seven of Wands. Six of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Six of Cups. Queen of Wands. Alright, so the overall energy is about being betrayed, and I feel like it's about unforgiveness. So it's like, Divine Masculine in this reading has been betrayed, um, 
by his partner that he is with. It's, this is no going back. Whatever this is that this person has done to him, it's, the line has been crossed. No excuses can be made. There's not enough stories in the world. Um, it's over. So the overall energy is about betrayal that cannot be forgiven. This card makes me feel like, um, it's just, it's not just the karmic, that's what I'm going to call this person, that's trying to get, um, Divine Masculine to come back, because this is what he's doing, walking away, leaving. Uh, this is like friends, family, co-workers are all trying to get this relationship back together, but... Whatever this betrayal is, it's too bad. It's like, it could be the icing on the cake. It's just, we've reached the point of no return. Under all energy. This makes me feel like the Divine Masculine was, had one foot out of out the door already but now with this betrayal it's like I'm done I'm walking away um, without any regrets no shame um, yeah so he's walking away from this relationship um, and he's not coming back So this is Divine Masculine's pile. I feel like Divine Masculine's partner, who's represented here, I feel like she walked away first. So back to this, I feel like there's been infidelity. This um, feminine energy uh, left first. She like, she basically took the first punch. She's like, I'm out, I'm see you, I'll see you later. All I care about is myself and my pentacles. I just felt like she, uh, like, this feminine energy, I feel like she may have even, like, packed her bags in the middle of the night and just took off. So, I mean, with that being the case, like, this feminine energy, um, made it so that the relationship could not be salvaged. So, Divine Masculine um, had no choice but to walk away. But I feel like this relationship was over long before this happened, this betrayal. It's just I feel like Finally, this feminine energy was just like, peace out, I'll see ya later. I'm moving on to greener pastures. I'm gonna go make a life for myself. This is Divine Feminine's pile. So I feel like Divine Feminine right now is, in this reading, is pretty much 
stuck in the past. I feel like she goes about her life all the while thinking about the past, particularly when it comes to Divine Masculine. I think her, I think a lot of past thoughts are coming up in her life on their own. And I feel like she should just embrace them and let them happen, reminisce, think about the past. There's a reason for it. This is a relationship between Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine in this reading. I feel like it's suffering, particularly on Divine Feminine's part, because there's nothing that she can do right now regarding the relationship. Because he's currently walking away from his current situation and she is. So it's not final. The separation between these two is not final yet. So, of course, she is stuck in the past because that's all she um, can have right now, um, which is causing her suffering. I don't believe that she knows about this betrayal and that these two are walking away from each other because I don't believe that she would be suffering as much. Um, or maybe she does know and she just she wants to be there for Divine Masculine but she knows it's not um, an appropriate time to do that. But really she should be excited, a little bit excited because there's been this betrayal um, and these two are leaving each other. Advice cards are basically for everyone in this um, relationship. So Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine and Karmic Feminine are to go in search of their happiness. I feel like everyone in this situation is feeling a sense of betrayal. I feel like the Divine Masculine feels betrayal, the Karmic feels betrayal, be betrayed, sorry, and Divine Feminine also feels betrayal. And this card makes me feel like no one can tell them otherwise or change their mind about it. And I feel like each one in this situation is acting out of a sense of being betrayed. Which is why Divine Masculine is walking away from his relationship. The Karmic's walking away. Divine Feminine is stuck in the past. And Suffering. I feel like these two cards is like everyone in this situation is currently trying to get their head together as they um, move along Divine Masculine and Karmic away from their relationship and Divine Feminine just through her life. I think they're all trying to get their thought life together, become stronger emotionally, which I believe is um, the right thing to do. And I feel like they are all going to be given tools to do that. 
So right now, it's just everyone in this situation is having a time of um, mental gathering, accepting um, their life situations, and moving forward. These two cards. I feel like this feminine energy has left her home. So whatever um, residents that Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine um, had together, this feminine energy left. She's gone. She moved out. She took her crap and hit the road. I don't feel like this is over though. I feel like just because she's moved out does not mean that she's just gonna let um, their piece of property or their assets that they have gained together just go just like that. No. This feminine energy is going to um, get whips hers before she exits the building completely. These two cards make me feel like teaching. There's something about teaching coming through with these cards. So I don't know if some of you Divine Feminines out there are teachers and you're focusing on your work. There's something about teaching here. But yeah, Divine Feminine's thinking about her life, thinking about the past. Maybe going to school. That's what it could be. She could be returning to school. But there's something significant here about Divine Feminine and in the past. And school and teaching. Again, the relationship, Divine Feminine is suffering um, because she there's nothing she can do in the situation at the moment but stand back um, and all she has is the past. So there's nothing that she can do. So it's creating suffering. So I feel like what she needs to do is embrace her suffering. And figure out ways that she can move forward and find happiness in her life because I feel like this separation between these two is not something that is going to happen overnight. Like, I feel like there's history there. Um, and there's a lot of things that need to be worked out. And I feel like they're not going to be worked out until this person is happy. Divine Feminine in this reading used to um, 
really be a comfort to divine masculine. So, if so again, I feel like there are some divine feminines that know about this and they can't do anything about it. And that's why they're suffering. So I feel like maybe Divine Masculine has shut Divine Feminine out right now because of what's going on. It's just like he can't, which it would explain this, he just cannot deal um, with another thing. So it's like he shut himself off from the world He's trying to get his head together because his partner decided to up and leave, which I feel like was a shock. I feel like it wasn't, this makes me feel like it was not expected. So all Divine Feminine can do is sit back, deal with whatever's going on in her life, work, school, job, whatever, um, and reminisce about the relationship. And I feel like hope that everything is going to turn out for the best. And unfortunately, suffer because there's nothing really that she can do but pray for divine masculine and hope that he is okay so really i feel like the advice cards are just like especially they're especially for divine feminine because she can't do anything it's just like you really need to just do what's best for you right now it's like give divine masculine his space let him get his crap together and deal with his issues because it's like even if you try he's just gonna push you away so focus on your own life and build up your own happiness until the time is right and um, he lets you in. And so I'm going to end the reading here. I'm going to do an extended. If you are interested, please check it out. Otherwise, have a wonderful day. And um, I'll see you next time.